Hello, I'm Gavin Hoey, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Lightroom to work faster over a whole sequence of images, particularly if they were all taken with the same lighting conditions. Now, I've got a bunch of portrait pictures here, uh, as you can see, all taken of the same nice young lad, but the picture I'm actually going to work on is this one. Now, this is my grey card image, and I'll either take this at the beginning of the session, or halfway through the session, or at the end of the session. At some point during the session, I'll take a snap of this, because this is the most useful image, and it's going to mean I can get my colours and my images looking as good as possible very quickly. OK, so it's a white balance card. Now, we use these to set the colour correctly. Now, of course, you may have done a custom white balance in your camera. That's absolutely fine. I'm going to do it here in Lightroom. So I'm going to jump to the Basic tab, and I'm going to come to the little eyedropper tool called the White Balance Selector. Click on that, and I get this eyedropper that I can put anywhere on this. This is a nice grey, specifically made for this job. So I click on that, and it'll remap the colours, so where I just clicked, and everything around it becomes a neutral grey. It's kind of subtle, because the cameras do a reasonable good job, but you may be able to see the difference. That looks a little bit magenta that looks a lot more neutral. Now, one really good tip is to make sure you have a properly calibrated monitor. It helps you get your colours that little bit more accurate. Now, this is the, the Y-Bow card from Michael Tapes Designs, and it has one more little trick up its sleeve that I like to use. And it's this little target up here in the top left corner, because this allows me to check for chromatic aberration. And even though I'm using a, a great Canon camera and professional glass, I'm getting chromatic aberration, and that's perfectly normal. You can see it here as this colour fringing, sort of blue fringing there, and sort of a, an orangey fringing there. Well, one of the nice things about Lightroom is I can come down to Lens Corrections here, and from here, all I need to do is click on the Enable Profile Corrections, and those will just disappear, because Adobe have already profiled a whole bunch of cameras and lenses. Here's mine, the 24105, and it reads that information from the, uh, the, the camera's EXIF data, and it'll apply the correct distortion correction, including removing chromatic aberration. It's just genius. If it doesn't work for you or your lens isn't listed, jump to the manual, and then you can manually remove lens vignetting and chromatic aberration as required. OK, so uh, that's basically got our image looking pretty good. Now, a couple of other things I like to do to my photos, particularly if they're a, a studio picture, is I'll come back to the basic and I'll put um, a little bit of negative clarity because I like to soften the skin ever so slightly. So I'll put that down to minus 20. I'll put my vibrance up to about plus 30, more or less, and my saturation up to 10 so that I put some colour into the pictures, and I like a little bit of colour. If they're going to be colour, let's have plenty of it. And also I like to come down to detail and put in here about my about 20, rather, of luminance noise reduction. OK, and that just helps to remove any noise that might be in the picture. Uh, one other thing I like to do is to crop my images. I like to have all my images pre-cropped to a 5x7 format. So I can do that right here. I can get my crop overlay, and I can choose from the drop-down list 5x7, and that's going to crop my images to 5x7. Just make sure this little padlock is actually locked. And that's basically it. Click Done. There we go. Now all I need to do is to apply this to all of my other pictures that I've got for this studio session. Now that could be half a dozen, it could be a few hundred. It doesn't matter. The technique is exactly the same. Down to the keyboard. Press Control, and then press A. So they all become selected. Now when you do that, the Sync button is now available. Click on the Sync button and you'll be asked, well, what do you want to synchronise? Which of the settings that you've just made do you want to synchronise? Now I want to synchronise basically everything. Uh, white balance, lens corrections, cropping. It's easier just to leave everything and uh, synchronise the lot. So I'll just click on Check All, just to make sure they are all ticked. And then I'll click on Synchronize, and that'll change every single picture in my little set there. So there we go, and that's basically it. I can now go into the pictures here, and I can have a little look and say, yep, that's absolutely fine. OK, that's not too bad, but maybe I want to move the cropping a little bit with that one, so we can go and get the crop and move it. Uh, yeah, that's fine, and so on. So I can go down through the list here, and I can fine-tune it as I require, 
and you can see they're all pre-cropped to 5x7 and all the other uh, adjustments have been applied as well. So there we go, there's how you can use Lightroom to, to make a, uh, a correction to one image and then apply it to all of the pictures from your shoot. I'm Gavin Hoey. If you want to find out more about me, don't forget to visit my website at www.gavtrain.com. Thanks for watching.